Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. I am so excited that you have happened on this video and if you like what you see then please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. So today's video is a wee get ready with me. I tried a bunch of new makeup which I've been saving up so I'm really excited and this is the completed look. I hope you like it. If you are interested to see what we chatted about and what products I use then please stay tuned. Enjoy! <laughs> the weather is terrible. The weather is like really really bad today. It's literally pouring and so windy so if you can hear wind and rain then I'm very sorry. I actually have a confession. I tried to film this video last Saturday and it was a total failure. <laughs> I was still filming it at like nine at night. Ended up with a glass of red wine. Just drinking. This glass is like the size of my actual head and hopefully I don't have like black teeth. Do I? Don't tell me if I do. So my intention was to do like a full face of new makeup and like test a new makeup but obviously now I've already tried it so it's not really a testing video. So instead I thought I'd do like a wee get ready with me. I'm going to Ryan's tonight, we're gonna have a nice dinner so I'll put on some makeup and we'll see how it goes. I'm not wearing the makeup other than that initial testing video so I mean it's still kind of new and I'll just chat, just chat with you, chat with me and see how you're doing. So yes, let's just go ahead and get started. Mother, could you possibly close my door? Sorry. And the light's on out there as well. Okay. Thanks. The light's on as well, thanks. What, sorry? The light out there's on, but just thought I'd let you know. Okay, bye, thanks. What? I said thank you. I've actually had a lot of this makeup for quite a while. Some of it I got for Christmas presents, so I've tried it a couple of times since then. But other stuff I got back in like the very start of January and I held off to use it to film last week's video and then it ended up being a failure, so it was a shame. But yeah, I've had to have quite good willpower in order to not use it. So I'm excited to show everything to you today. So I've already moisturised my skin, I just used a CeraVe moisturiser and I put on some eye cream as well and then lip balm and now I'm just going to put on some primer. Alright. What are you doing dad? What are, what are you doing? I'm cleaning the sink for you. I can do it later if you want. Alright, so what's he doing now? With a what? What's he doing now? Sorting the taps. Is it so we'll be finished in a minute? Sorry, I was just interrupted by my dad so I can fix the taps in the bathroom beside me. Which is critical. Uh, Saturday afternoon. Anyway, I'm gonna go with this primer. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer and I'm just gonna pop it all over my face. It's very white. It just looks like a moisturiser to be honest. I'll put quite a lot on my forehead because I've got quite a dry forehead. I mean it feels quite nice. It just kind of feels like a moisturiser to be honest. So I would probably just use this as a moisturiser. Extends weight of foundation for up to eight hours. Mm. <laughs> I don't really believe in primer like massively. I use it kind of more of just like a moisturising step but I've got quite dry skin so I think if you've got oily skin primer definitely does make a difference but for me it's kind of just like yeah. Can live without it. I got it like just after Christmas and Boots was doing like spend a pound on makeup and then get this little box thing. So I think they're just like trying to get rid of all the <laughs> crap basically. But yeah, I mean it's fine. So it's normally seven pound but I got it for free. I probably wouldn't buy it for seven pound because I feel like it's just similar to a moisturiser but time went. Time will tell. Okay, next I'm gonna go with some foundation and I got the Flubber Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. This is Drew Barrymore's beauty range. I don't know if you if you watched Jamie Genevieve. I remember when she did a video with her when this first came out, so that was kinda mental. So I got the shade Ivory. It's normally £14. I think Silverdrug is the only place that sells in this range and they had like a third off. I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign, but it was like £8 something, so I mean pretty good. I liked it the first time I tried it so I will try it on again. It is quite a dewy foundation so I think that if you've got kind of more oily skin this might not be the best but yes I'll use a sponge. Don't know whether it's just shove it right on. But how are you? <laughs> How's your week going? This weather. <coughs> Sorry I've got a <coughs> I just had some empire biscuits totally stuck in my throat. This weather in Scotland is just terrible. All week it's just absolutely miserable. I feel like a lot of people have been enjoying going for walks and stuff, but when the weather's like this, you just can't. Like, it's just... Oh, my dog. Can you... Can... can... Steven! I just have a doggy. Lucy. Lucy. One dog! Por favor! <laughs> Did I go my makeup? Oh no, watch out. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, no! Bye. Oh, okay, 
Honestly, is he trying to film in this bloody house? That's why we put like one coat on, but I think I might just do a wee bit more. It's quite lightweight. It really doesn't really come out in foundation, which is nice. Yeah, I'm just going to dance tonight. We're gonna, I don't know, maybe watch a film. I think we're gonna try to cook something nice. Maybe like a nice pasta or something. Don't know. Shall see. Do you have any plans? <laughs> what are you up to? Tell me about them. It's actually like pure depressing. I was in work yesterday. The normal question is like, what are you up to this weekend? And it's just depressing because everyone's like nothing. I'm not doing anything. And you're like, Ugh, what even is there to ask about and speak about? I think I'm going to walk tomorrow actually, if the weather's okay. I'm going to walk my mum and sister, so that should be nice. Okay, I think that's me done foundation. I'm looking pretty wet looking. Don't know if it's um, a mixture of like the primer and the kind of dewy foundation, but like I'm not hating it, it's fine. It's just a wee bit wet. I could maybe powder. I don't really use powder to be honest. But if it continues to like wet, then I'll maybe powder. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of concealer over any little spots. It's getting on my forehead not looking great, to be honest. I used to have psoriasis, or well, I think I still do have psoriasis, but it's not really that bad anymore. But I need to be quite like diligent with my skincare and using like specific ointments and stuff. And I don't think I've been very good last week, so it's just kind of made it a wee bit rough looking. But all in all, my skin's fine. Last week I had this massive like cheek spot. I literally would not go away. My spots usually go away within a couple of days and that one literally just lasted so long. So that wasn't fun, but it's finally gone. So that kind of worked out nicely. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with bronzer. So this is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Oh, it smells. I was not expecting it to smell when I first used it. I was like shocked by the smell. It's really, 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 really strong. Oh my God, it smells amazing. It smells like coconut or something. That is so strong, I wasn't expecting that. It reminds me of like cocktails, a uh, pina colada, that's what it reminds me of. Yes, so I've tried this once, but that was kind of like my very first impression. So I will try it again today. That wind. Yeah, it's totally raved about on the beauty world on YouTube. How much was it? I got this in Boots and it was £13. By the way, everything that I do talk about, I've like linked it down below. Yeah, so it's almost £13 and everyone just loves it. The packaging like sucks, the packaging is really annoying because it's really bulky. And it has this little, pa um, what, I don't even know what you'd call this, puff thing? But it's a really weird, it's a really funny like material. I don't really know. It's good that it's got a mirror, but yeah, it's just so bulky. Like, see if we're going on a night out, on my upcoming nights out. Uh, it's just a bit bulky. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with that. So I have an update. This week I tried to exercise. <laughs> well, I did exercise. I exercised for the first time in months and I actually didn't go too hard, like, I was like, I need to be sensible here. I'm not done exercise in ages. Dropped my weights and stuff, I brought them down. It wasn't like terribly hard at the time. Like I wasn't like proper dying. And then the next few days, couldn't walk. I was in work like proper. <laughs> Every time I was getting up and down from my desk, I was like, Argh. like so dramatic. I'm trying to get back into it, but it's just, it's hard to find the motivation. I have so much admiration for the people that have been going so hard in the home workouts. I was not minding it and stuff during the summer. Like I was actually kind of, I was doing some and finding them all right. But when the gyms could open up again, but you weren't allowed to do classes, my gym that I go to was doing like an open gym where you could go and like use the equipment and stuff. And they would give you like general programs to follow, but not like a class. And I was really enjoying that. Like I was feeling so motivated. I cannot tell you what like month that was. Yeah, and then that stopped and it was back to home workouts. And I was just like, nah, man. I'm out. I kind of am not too bothered because I feel like when things are open again, I will get my motivation back. So, I don't know. We'll see. This does... <sighs> it reminds me of holiday. I want to go on holiday. Oh. Quite a big line there. Yes, this is quite like, you kind of build this one up. I think it's quite a natural bronze, which I'm, I've been using the Hula Caramel, which is a bit darker than this. But like, you don't need to put as much on. This is a bit more time consuming, but it's quite nice. Like, it is quite nice. It's totally matte. I think that's the kind of bronzer done. I think it looks all right. Okay, next is blushers. So I saw these on TikTok. I think people were like raving about them on TikTok. And these are the e.l.f. putty blushers. I got them in two shades. I got them from Superdrug. I think they do some bits. Got them Superdrug. Superdrug, sorry. These were six pounds, which is pretty good. They're like a cream blush and I got two shades. So it doesn't actually tell you, it told you in the packaging what the shades were, but it doesn't tell you like once you've opened up the packaging, which is kind of annoying, but I got two ones that are kind of similar, to be honest. This one, I believe is um, Turks and Caicos, I think. And this one's the Bahamas. 
I'll just confirm the names of them. There's like a total theme of holidays here with the butter bronzer pina colada smell. And then these, I've never been to either of these places, but I'll just pretend that I'm going in this video. So this is like a more pinky, peachy, and this is like a more orangey one. So I think I'm gonna go in with that one. That one. I think I'm gonna go in with that one and see what it's like. So I think for these, you need to kind of like warm them up with your hands first. So I'm like warm it up a little bit on my finger and it is quite orange. And then I think I'll pop it on with my... Oh shit. With my finger and then just try and buff it out. I might use a beauty blender actually. It's just went on like a straight line. It does go on quite orange, but it kind of blends out. They are quite pigmented. I think that you do need to kind of warm them up first, but they're quite pretty. Six pound. And Superdrug have NHS discount actually. I don't mention that. I work in NHS and they have NHS discount, so I got like ten percent off above six pound as well. So that's pretty decent. <coughs> Why am I so sneezy? Quite nice, quite subtle, but I think I'm gonna build them up. I do find that the, the cloud paints that I use, they're a wee bit easier to work with, but yeah, still nice. I zoomed in a wee bit through the eyes. I'm just sitting here scanning my um, an Empire Biscuit. I've got like nothing left, but I thought I'd give a wee plug. <laughs> this is my cousin's Empire Biscuit company. It's called Twisted Empire Bakes, and it does like vegan Empire Biscuits, and they're so good. Right now she's doing, cause of lockdown stuff like that, she normally supplies the cafes, but she's doing like, build your own boxes and it's so good. This one is a Valentine's special, so it's like it's strawberry and chocolate I think. I can't believe I'm showing you it, like literally almost finished, but oh well. Strawberry filling, chocolate topping, and then like dried strawberries and these little love heart things which are like so tasty. Really good. Me and my mum love the rose and pistachio one, it's so good, it's her fave. But we thought we'd give the Valentine's one a try, so yeah I recommend. Mmm. I'm so good. Give her a follow on her Instagram page. Oh my god, that topping. I mean, that filling. So good. Mmm. This. Look at that. I'm very excited about this. I got this in December. So this was on my ASOS like wish list for ages over Christmas. Like I think this this was one of the Christmas things. And it was, it was like 52 50 full price. Which I think is still so good considering what you get. Like it's all... It's like full size items. But I was like, mm, don't know. And then after Christmas, it went down to 31.60. I got it for 31.60. How good is that? I've only ever used Gimme Brow before from Benefit. But this has, it's got Gimme Brow, Precise My Brow, Goof Brow, Goof Proof Brow Pencil, the 24 Hour Brow Setter and Cabrow. So that's exciting. I've tried the Precise My Brow Pencil. And honestly, on first impressions, I was a wee bit disappointed. I thought it would be like a bit easier to use than it was. Like it was a little bit dry. Cause everyone, just everyone seems to rave about it all the time. So, but I'm gonna give it another shot. Today I think I'll use that one. Gimme brow. Yeah. <laughs> and possibly cabrow. I don't know, we'll see, see how it goes. And I got the shade three light brown. I've used Gimme Brow once before and I couldn't tell what mold one was because everything would just totally worn off. But hopefully this is okay. So I think I'll go in first with the brow pencil and just kind of like color them in. <laughs> Maybe not colour the body, but just kind of define them. What is this? Oh. <laughs> I was just turning the, the cap. Okay, it requires quite a lot of pressure, which I wasn't expecting. Like, I thought it was going to be kind of easier to use than it is, but it's not right. My eyebrows are a genuine state. They're looking bad. I need them sorted out pronto. So back to the holiday chat. Where would be the first place that you would want to go on holiday when things open up again? I'm very interested to know. Comment down below. <laughs> I can't complain too much because I actually managed to get away last year in March, just before everything kind of properly kicked off in Europe. Me and my boyfriend had Budapest booked and we got away and it was amazing. Like it was so, so good. But like it, literally it was totally normal back then. There was one person like wearing a mask in the airport and we were like, <laughs> Dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic much. But they knew. They knew what was to come. This is a wee spilly on the other end which is quite useful. I don't know. Where would where the first place I'd go? I'm really wanting to get like a big holiday book. Right now I'm on a training programme for my work and it finishes at the end of next March I think. And I really want to do like a big trip before kind of start my next job. I'm really wanting to do Australia. I've never been and I've heard amazing things. My brother and sister both lived in Australia actually. They both spent like two years I think. 
So yeah, really, really want to go. I don't even know if things will be open. Like, well, I'll show you let us in. Because they're price strict, which is really good. But would Australia let us in? Next March? I don't know. I don't know. It's just so uncertain. I'll be vaccinated. I'll be vaccinated by next month. It's actually good. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. But I just want to visit so much. I've got a wee plan of how we want to like travel around. So yeah. These are looking okay. I see people do it and they're like so rapid at it. And it just is really, really easy. But I'm just not finding it the most easy. To be fair, I don't really use um, pencils that much. Like I, I use powder more. So maybe it's just something I need to like, try to get used to. I might actually fill in a wee bit more with Cabrow. I've used this once. I used this last week and I kind of liked it. This is like a pomade, I think that's what you call it. A pomade. And it comes with this little handy brush. My eyebrows are just so bad right now. I can't wait to get them done. I think I'm gonna get lamination the next time I get them done as well. I got it done before, just for Christmas, and I really liked it. It made them look nice and thick, so I think I'm gonna get that again. I can't wait till I can do a get ready with me and I'm actually going out. That would be so fun. Me and my friends were chatting yesterday and just saying how we're so excited to see each other again and do things. It's been like, I don't know, less than a handful of times I've seen them in the last year, so I just can't wait, can't wait. Garden parties in the summer, it's gonna be amazing. Right, I'm just gonna go through it with a gimme brow now. Oh, shit. It already. Gimme brow is nice. I do use the boy brow more, but this is actually really good. I'm tempted to go in with the brow setter. I think it's like proper. Well, it's in the name, but I think it does proper set your brows like they won't move. <laughs> I made the mistake of using that first last time I tried this for my failed video last week. And then it was really hard to use other products on it because everything was just kind of stuck in place, you know? Look at this little claw holding this. I'm like. <laughs> I didn't used to do my eyebrows before eyeshadow. I've recently started. Do you know what? I'll just go for it. I'll just use them all and go for the, well, not all of them, but I'll just use the brow setter as well. Fine. It's kind of interesting. It smells like really chemically, but kind of nice. Oh, God, I can't inhale it. It's got different size bristles on each side. That's actually nice. It gives them kind of a nice wee sheen as well. Yeah, they're now stuck in place, so I cannot move them. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with this palette, which is the Secret Treasure palette by Cash Beauty. I like this. <laughs> oh, you see that? The reflection. Um, yeah, I got this for Christmas. I asked my sister for it. And yeah, it's really nice. Like, I, I kind of like, like, neutral, basic colours, so it's kind of ideal for me. So far, it's performed really nicely. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do today. I don't really want anything too, like, intense and dark. I might just, like... Can I go in with these colours and then maybe a bit of shimmer? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna start off with the shade Burnt and just put that all over my crease. This is Kaylee NUA's makeup brand. I don't know if anyone I've not prepped my eyelids in any way, so I maybe should have, but oh well, here we are now. Yeah, Kaylee NUA, she's like an Irish YouTuber. Well, she used to be a YouTuber. She's now like just like a kind of beauty influencer person. I am sad she's not on YouTube anymore because I used to really enjoy her. Her vids. <laughs> She's mega talented. I think she's now on more like TikTok and stuff, TikTok and Instagram. But I just prefer, I don't know what you think, but I just prefer like longer content. Like honestly, no, I love TikTok. Like I love it. I wish that I hadn't discovered it because my days are just, it's just taking over. It's literally taking over. It's so bad. I think the algorithm on TikTok is the most impressive thing ever. Every time I send my brother a video, he's pure, oh no. He's like, why did you do that? Because now I'm going to be on it for the next hour. And it's so true. You actually cannot stay off it. But my kind of For You page like changes all the time. I don't know about you guys. You end up like paying attention to one certain type of content and now it's just... Does that wind mind? That's getting crazy right now. Yeah, and then it's just on your For Your page for like the foreseeable. But it is so cool. People do so well on it. See, I think Kaylee does more um, TikTok stuff. I actually saw that Ed Westwick, the guy from Gossip... No. What's his name? I I don't watch Gossip Girl, I've never watched it. Shame on me. He replied to one of her TikToks because it was like about Gossip Girl. She duetted it with him and then he replied to her, which was really cool because I think everyone loves him that watched Gossip Girl. Okay, I've kind of like put that maybe a bit far up and a bit too much over, but oh well. I'm going to go in with the shade Script and just like put it somewhere. Okay, so it turns out I'm putting it more on the lid, I think. I don't really know. This isn't a tutorial, no one cares. I forgot to say, this is it's a, an Irish website, so everything's in euros. So I think this was roughly 30 euros and then 8 euros shipping. So I think it equated to just about 25 quid, something like that. No, more than that. I don't know, maybe 30 quid? I think it was like 30 pound. 
I think it's a nice palette. It performs really well. She has other little like lip kits and stuff, which I've heard that the lip liners are really good from that. So I would be intrigued to try them also. I honestly don't really know what I'm doing. I might just slightly deepen up this part and then do like a bit of glitter and then keep it simple and that's it. I might try a wing as well. I don't know. Let's just I'll deepen it up a tiny bit with the shade Tomb, the kind of re like almost reddish brown. So I've seen lots of people recently try to do like smoked or doing smoked liner with eyeshadow and I'm not very good at it but I'm feeling brave. <laughs> I'm feeling brave. Let's try it. I've got this which should be okay for it maybe. I'll use like the rake and forbidden like together and see if it works all right. <sighs> you shouldn't blow your brushes but I will. Um, oh I'm not very good at eyeliner. I'm scared. But I think I'm just gonna keep it like close to my lash line. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, I think I managed to fix it. Sorry if things are different, I had to like rejig my light was running out battery. And yes, yeah, so things might look different, but I think I fixed it. It's okay. So now I'm just gonna finish the look with some shimmer. Shimmer. <laughs> I feel like I'm going nuts. I'm really hungry. I really want to eat. I think I'll go in with Gemstone, which is this one here. I'll probably just go with my finger and I'm just going to pat that in like the inner part. I was actually shutting myself doing the eyeliner. Like I'm <laughs> really not good at eyeliner. I was like sitting on the floor, like two centimeters in the mirror. Like, but I think that looks alright. They're definitely not even, but it's fine. Um. Oh, covered in glitter now. I'm now just gonna go under my lash line with the colours that I've already used and just kind of buff that in. So probably the shade of Gumma Burn. I'm getting an Indian tonight and I'm very excited. What are you having for dinner? I love hearing what people are having for dinner. It's my favourite. Cool. Right, that's me done the eyeshadow. And now I'm just gonna put on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. People were talking about it on TikTok and saying that it was Amaze Balls. So I got it. I normally use a Maybelline Lash Sensation, but I think there's one on TikTok that everyone's obsessed with called, it's like Maybelline Lash Sensation something something. Like it's a, it's like the next one of that, next generation of that one. So I'm intrigued to try that as well, but I think I had this years ago. Is this a new mascara? It's quite clumpy. Like it's quite elongating. It's like got a really, really tiny little brush. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure that I used this years ago because I remember like, it's quite hard to get that back in and I just have a memory of that, I don't really know why. I feel like I need to take a wee bit more time with this brush than the Maybelline one. I can hear my mum and sister bitching about me on the phone. We're going for a walk tomorrow and they're like... Well at one o'clock my mum's going, well that might be a wee bit early for Rachel, she'll still be in her bed. How rude. And I can hear them chatting, chatting shout. I have a terrible habit of raising my eyebrows when I do mascara and I'm going to end up wrinkly. It is quite good this mascara by the way. <laughs> like I don't have the best eyelashes but this is making them look pretty long and it's really really black. This is from Boots and I paid £11 for it. Again there will be a link down below. My boyfriend thinks I'm at it by doing this face for bottom lashes. He's like why do you do that and I'm like well I can't help it. It's so hard not to. Okay. They look all right. The left one looks fine. The right one's a wee bit clumpy. It's just because the way my eyelashes are going in since LVL. But yeah, I think they look pretty nice and long. So I'm happy with that. I'm not going to do any lashes. I actually never wear lashes, to be honest. I, I don't know how to put lashes on. I think maybe I can do a video of me trying to learn how to put lashes on. There's so many tutorials out there, but I'm just rubbish at it and I get stressed out. So I never do them. But like, I know that they're so gorgeous and they can really like make something next level, you know? But I'm scared that like once I start wearing them, I'll never know what to wear them. I might give it a shot. I could do like JBG's wee like half lash trick and see how that goes, potentially. Right now I'm gonna do some highlighter. Everything that's left actually is from the same brand. So this is all from, speaking of Jamie G, I just mentioned her actually. This is Vive, her makeup brand. So this is a highlighter. I got this at Christmas, but I've not really used it a bunch of times. It's quite like a, probably a bit of an intense highlight. So I've not been using it that much because I've not been going anywhere, but I thought for the purpose of this video, I would use it. So this is the Nova Glow highlighter and it's in the shade Holy Chic. I think it's like a super buttery like consistency. Yeah, I don't really know how to do swatches, I'm not even gonna try. But it feels nice. Um, I think you can go in with like, your finger on a brush, but I'm just gonna try to use this brush and see what it looks like. It is really nice, Like I love the packaging, it feels nice and luxe. This is £27 and you can get it on the Vive website or on Co Beauty, which is quite good. 
It's got like finely milled glitter through it. Ho ho! So yeah, this is kind of like an intense, more going out, not everyday thing. But it does like blend really, really nicely in. There's one lighter shade at Bijou, I think it's called. I was not sure what one to go for, but this seems fine. The other one might be a little bit light for me. I'm gonna use it to do my inner corner. Again with a wee smaller brush. Oh, that's nice. And also my brow bone. I wanna go out. I wanna go out dancing. I'm sitting in, just eating an ending tonight, just getting <laughs> stuffed. Okay. I don't know why. I've got this massive mirror and I'm using this wee tiny one. Comes with a mirror as well, which is quite good. I really like the eye makeup. I think it's pretty. It's quite basic, but I've just not done makeup like that in a while, so I like it. That rain is still going out there. Jeez, I don't want to drive. I need to go out in it to get in the car. Next and last is lips. So I'm just going to shift a little bit more lip balm on before I do this. So this is the Vive Lip Definer in the shade Bark. So it's kind of like a brown, so like brownie nude. And this was £15. I got this for Christmas as well. And I've only used it a handful of times. They're really, really soft and like creamy. It's really nice. I'm just going to put it like all over my lips basically. I really like the consistency of these. £15 for a lip liner I think is a wee bit pricey. I normally get them from like Rimmel and like Revlon and that kind of thing. But it is nice. Like I would just wear this all over like this. I think it's really pretty. And it kind of goes with my eyes, which is nice. I've not tried to sharpen it yet. I, I really hate sharpening lip pencils because I always end up messing it up. And then I just lose loads. Like I had the Kylie ones for it and I've literally destroyed them from sharpening them. So that's annoying. But hopefully I don't mess it up. I also have the lipstick, the Vive lipstick and coming in hot. It's like hot, like hot, hot. Like haut couture. Coming in whole. <laughs> coming in how? Right, stop. It's really nice. It's like a like nudie brownie pinky. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's nice. I'm not gonna put it like all over. I'm just gonna kind of focus it in the middle. These are matte consistency, but they're not like mega matte. They're like they're weightable. Oh no! Got my teeth. Arrgh. I just actually <laughs> bit into it. Hope I've not ruined it. I think this is like the most attractive lipstick that I own. It looks quite luxurious and it makes me happy. Yeah, I think they're like a perfect match. They're really, really nice. Okay, I think that's everything. Yes, so I will just take down my hair, <laughs> see what it's looking like, and I'll be back in a minute. Oh, lipstick's £19. Which thing's compatible to other lipsticks, just a bit more than MAC, but it's pretty bougie. So yeah, see ya. This is the finished look. I hope you like it. I like it. I feel quite nice. I'm happy with all my new purchases and gifts and stuff like that. I think they all perform nicely together. I'm honestly really proud of myself for doing that eyeliner. I have not done eyeliner in so long because I'm a big scaredy cat and I think it looks nice. My hair is a riot man. Jeez. Ignore my hair. It looks a bit metal but yeah. So yes, thank you so, so much for watching. If you have not seen any of my other videos, then feel free to check them out. I have another kind of makeup related one, which is my everyday makeup, and then a few other ones that you might find interesting. So please go and check them out. Please like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. I am very, very grateful for the support that I have received so far. People have just been so nice and lovely. I was quite nervous about putting myself out there and trying something new, but people have been really lovely and I'm very grateful. So thank you so much. Comment down below if you have any other ideas of content that you'd like to see from me or just anything, anything that's running through your mind. Comment down below, let me know. <laughs> so I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.